my channel. I'm Sonali if you guys don't already know me and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys. I just kind of winged it but I did use a lot of ColourPop products but I did forget to put on my lipstick on camera, stupid me, but I used the liquid lipstick trap on my lips and just put a NARS gloss over it so that's why it's kind of glossy but I loved the way my eye makeup turned out. I am obsessed with it. If you guys want to see how to get this look then keep on watching. Okay so let's get started and I just have a clean face. I just moisturized with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I love this stuff because it doesn't leave you feeling oily. It just makes you feel moisturized which is the only thing you need. You do not need any extra oils on your face so I definitely recommend this. I think it's like $15. It is kind of pricey just for like a face cream, but it's worth it. So I'm gonna prime my face with Maybelline's Baby Skin Pore Eraser. So first, we are not going to start with the primer. We're actually gonna start with our eyes because I want to do something a little, you know, funky. I don't know, hopefully I will because sometimes I just play it safe and I hate myself for it. I'm going to be using tape to get that clean cut around my eye. So I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand, make it a little bit less sticky, and then place it right underneath. So today I'm going to be switching it up and using ColourPop eyeshadows. What? So not only using anything else but Makeup Geek? Yep, so I actually bought a lot of eyeshadows from ColourPop and I've really been wanting to try them out. I just never had enough time to see which colors like go with each other and stuff. So today is the day. So get pumped. So first I'm going to be dipping my brush into my Max Paint Pot laying low and just brushing that all over my lid and in the crease. So I'm actually posting a Snapchat saying before and I'm going to do one after. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, take a picture of this with your snapchat open and it will automatically add me i think that's the coolest thing ever so definitely add me on there because i always snapchat throughout my day and it's just like a mini vlog so i'm starting off with this color it's called i spy and it's just like a really neutral skin tone color of course i'm going to be using this for my transition this is my first time using color pop eyeshadows and i'm so excited When I use the tape, I do like to kind of like wing out my eyeshadow just like that because sometimes if I just like do that, it looks kind of weird. Do not mind my eyebrows because I need to go get them done when I get back in Orlando because I actually found a new place to go, which is really exciting. Not to be rude, but I really do trust Indians because like I feel like they get my hair thickness problem and just like growing back problems and they just get it all so like I love going to them because they always get it right every time I go and obviously I'm just gonna go in with a darker color so I'm going to go in with Hanky Panky and it just looks like this it's pretty similar to the other color just a little bit darker and a more kind of gray undertone Next I'm going in with just a little bit of a darker shade and it's called To A T and it looks like this. This is just a more warm, darker brown color. As you can see, as the colors get darker, the brushes get smaller just because I want to make it more precise into the crease. Now I'm taking this color, it's called, now I'm taking a color called Bandit. This is kind of similar to Cocoa Bear in Makeup Geeks palette. It's just a deep brown with kind of a reddish undertone. Since I am going to be putting a glitter onto the lid, I'm going to be taking my Sephora Glitter Guard and this does actually work. I know I've been telling you guys that I haven't used it that much so I couldn't update you guys on it. I did use it on my birthday and it really did stay for a really long time and this is definitely my new obsession. So I'm going to be taking Lala and it's a gorgeous gold shimmery color. And I'm just applying this right on the lid. This makeup look reminds me of just rose gold because of the colors. I think Bandit just really made it 
just a rosy gold kind of look but I really like it. It's like a natural kind of glam look. I think I'm just gonna use the excess on the brush I used for Bandit and just blend that out just so it's like a little bit darker but I didn't really add anything that new. Now for eyeliner, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a thin wing so I'm going to be using my Kat Von D liner and I'm really loving this actually. It's kind of hard to apply because sometimes it just like doesn't leak out fast enough when you want to use it so like you'll do one eye and then you're gonna go to the next one and then it like doesn't leak out any product and I don't really know how to so I try to like put it back in and like it kind of like squeeze it out on its own I guess but I really do like this because it stays on so well like seriously so well the next one kind of rubbed off throughout the day just like a little it just got faded but this one does not do that I think this is like the thinnest I've ever done wings because this thing rocks like you can have so much control with this I really do recommend it it's only $20 that's not that bad for eyeliner like if it was like 35 then I'd be like nah I can buy something cheaper but like $20 is definitely worth it next I'm gonna be doing my mascara I'm gonna be using my roller lash first I always like to make them really long first and then add volume and then just separate my lashes And I'm gonna skip doing the lower lashes for now until I do just like the highlighter and concealer underneath. I'm gonna be taking my Lash Sensational by Maybelline and coating over the roller lash. Then I'm taking a little spoolie to separate the lashes. So I already put on my Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser, so I'm gonna be taking my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And I'm just blending it out with my Wet Beauty Blender. I actually just started using this Beauty Blender and I do like it a lot more than a brush just because it's less effort. And I just really like the concept, like using a sponge to put on your makeup. I think that's so cool. Always had a beauty blender, but it just never was the right thing. And I never knew to wet it. Actually, I kind of did, but I thought it was like really weird. And I thought it didn't really make a difference, but it does. So then I'm just going to add some foundation where I have blemishes. And then I'm just gonna pat those in with my Beauty Blender. Then I'm gonna be setting my foundation with my Holy Grail, my Becca Blotting Powder Perfector. It's awesome and it makes my skin feel like a baby. This is a little bit pricey and I bet you can find cheaper ones. So if you guys do know a dupe, let me know in the comments because when this runs out, I'm not sure if I'll buy a new one. I'll probably just try to look for a dupe. Then I'm just going to be highlighting under the eyes and on the bridge of my nose. And I'm also using a beauty blender that is wet for this. And I forgot to tell you, but I'm using the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Concealer because I'm feeling fancy today. Sometimes I use my Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline when I'm not really going for a full coverage makeup look. But today I was like, might as well 
use my naked skin because I haven't used it in such a long time. Then I'm gonna be setting the highlighted areas with the same Becca Blotting Perfector. Before I forget, I'm gonna do my bottom lashes and I'm taking my roller lash. Then lastly, I'm taking my blush from NARS and this is in the color Outlaw. And I'm just gonna be placing it right here, kind of as a contour. I don't really wanna like mess up my highlight that much. So I'm just gonna place it right here. I feel like I always go so out of order because I forget to do stuff. But next I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows and I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown. This is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I did kind of make it really natural. I know you guys always ask for natural makeup looks and this is still glam and still natural at the same time. So I hope you guys do try to recreate it. Sorry about this messy bun on top of my head. It's kind of crazy. If you guys did enjoy it, then subscribe down below and comment down below what you guys are doing for Christmas break. Are you guys going anywhere? Are you staying at home? Where do you live? I just want to know. So comment down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Where are you now that I need you?